Hey everyone, Sam Battersby from Griot's Garage, and today we're going to talk about winter washing using our rinseless and waterless car wash products and techniques. So we'll start out with our spray on car wash. Behind me we have a Mazda CX-9, light to moderate level of soiling. It's been driven in the rain for a couple of weeks, so you can see we've got decent amount down on the rocker panels there. A little bit of abrasive contaminant with some pine needles and, and heavy dirt down on the, on the lower rocker. And then other than that, the rest of the car is relatively clean, just a right, light road film. So this is a perfect example for our spray on car wash. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Couple little techniques that I'll show you guys that'll help make this easier and safer for you. The first one is I always like to employ a two towel method using a plush towel like our microfiber plush edgeless towel and a quick drying towel like our PFM. This is gonna help speed up the process for you and make it a little bit safer and also allow you to use fewer towels over the entire car. So we'll start out, fold your towel in half twice. That's gonna give you eight clean squares to flip to. And I'm gonna soak this towel down with our spray on car wash. We'll soak the side that I'm starting with and then as I flip, I'll, I'll resaturate those sides. So when you're starting on a vehicle, of course, just like standard washing, you're gonna wanna work from the top down so that you hit the dirtiest areas last. So we'll go ahead and begin spraying over the surface here. Dial in the sprayer, getting a nice mist. The dirtier the surface, the more liquid you're gonna wanna use. This is a pretty good amount for the top half. And then I'm just gonna come in and really, really soak this bottom half. A great tool to use with this product, if you don't like sitting here squeezing the trigger over and over, is our pump up sprayer. This is gonna make it much quicker for me. So I'm just gonna pump this, and I can literally come in and soak this whole rocker panel in one quick pass. So this helps speed up the process even more for you. I love using the pump up sprayer anytime you're working with a product where you're covering a large surface area. It really helps out. So we'll take our towel, I've got half or this side saturated here. Start wiping, very little to no pressure. Straight line most motions in one direction. You don't want to wipe back and forth because you're going to be grabbing that dirt in your towel and scrubbing it back and forth on your paint, causing wash and do scratches. So just light straight line motions. And then as we go, I'm going to check the surface. A Little bit of dirt, but I'm still good to use this side. There's very light amount on there. So we'll come in and we'll keep working our way down the door. As we get down lower, we're gonna be getting a heavier soiling. So instead of moving into that area right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this back top section, keep working our way around. So we'll get that again. So now I'm starting to see some uniform dirt there. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the towel. Before I keep working, you will Soak that side, set our dry towel on the cart there, and I'm just going to keep buzzing my way through. You can work you know, relatively quickly, you just want to be sure you're checking your towel so that you're not spreading dirt back and forth over the surface. So another quick flip. The towel is soaked through by now, so I don't really need to add more to it. Now that we're on that lower area, again, I'm gonna really soak this just to make it as safe as possible. When you're doing a rocker, all of your heavy, or most of your heavy abrasive pine needles and things like that are gonna settle here. So we wanna pre-soak all of that, and then we're gonna wanna start moving from the back front. So I'll come in again real quick, from the back to the front, and slowly flipping as we go. And then for this plastic section, there's not as much of a risk of scratching, but we want to make sure to get it clean. Go ahead and wipe that. Once you've done a, a section and you have some heavy contaminant, make sure you don't flip back to that side. I'm going to go ahead and dry down this door since it's starting to dry. Just give it a quick buff. And then we'll keep on working. But obviously you don't want to start drying until you've already cleaned that whole section. 
So we'll come back to that. For now, we're gonna move over to this vehicle, which when you have a heavier amount of dirt than what we saw in the CX-9, you would then wanna move to our rinseless wash and wax, which is gonna give you a, an even safer experience for a heavier amount of soiling. This Fiat has been driven for close to a month without washing. You can see down on the rockers here, a lot of, of heavy contaminant and grit. If you do have the opportunity to get that off prior to starting, that's the way to go. Um, Stevie's starting from the top down on this, and then I'm gonna start working on some of the more heavily, heavily soiled areas while she's working there. One big benefit of using rinseless wash and wax for this process that makes it safer is the fact that you can dilute it in a bucket. So Stevie's using the 320 to one dilution ratio. That's 320 ounces of water to one ounce of concentrate, which is two and a half gallons to one ounce of concentrate. So it's very concentrated, um, which is gonna give you a great you know, lubricity on the surface to avoid scratching. And the fact that you're using more water here is gonna make the process safer on a heavier level of soiling because you have more, more lubricity in the process to avoid wash and do scratches. So while she's using the 320 to one on the top half, I'm gonna come in with our dilution bottle. This has been diluted at 15 to one. This is an awesome solution with multiple uses. Right now we're gonna use it to pre-soak all of this really heavily soiled area. Uh, because it's 15 to one, obviously it's much more concentrated than the 320 to one. So there's a lot more lubricity and even more protection built into this solution. So we're gonna come in and really soak this. Again, when you're doing a, a big vehicle or you know covering a vehicle with a product, your pump up foamer is an awesome way to go. Dilution bottle also works well. So because we had a very heavy amount of dirt, I just went ahead and soaked it really liberally. Um, if you don't have the chance to you know, rinse a rocker to get heavy abrasives off or blow it with compressed air before, you can dial these sprayers into a stream and use that as, as somewhat of a rinse and it'll actually knock a lot of that stuff off. Obviously, you're gonna need to do a little more cleanup on your garage floor, but that's better than, than putting scratches in your paint. So uh, always wanna saturate that to give it as much of a chance to come off safely. So now we'll employ the same technique with the two towel method on the Fiat here. So Stevie's almost done with the top portion. I'll start working on the bottom half down here fresh towel. When you're wringing one of these out, you want to wring out about half to 75% of the liquid. Just enough so that you know, you've still got a really saturated towel, but it's not dripping all over the place and, and making a huge mess. So that's pretty perfect. We're not dripping at all there. And then again, top down. When you get to this lower portion, again, you're going to want to move from back to front instead. So I'll start that right here. And you don't wanna use a lot of pressure because this is very heavily soiling, I'm gonna flip my towel at every pass. You can really see that dirt compared to what we were seeing on the CX-9. This is a situation that would be too much dirt for a spray on car wash to handle. Um, it's not gonna be as safe and you're not gonna get as, as easy of an experience or as uh, thorough of a job done as well. So I'm gonna grab Dilution bottle, soak that a little more right before we come in. Fold the towel to a fresh side. Get that top edge. And again, you wanna use as little of pressure as necessary to remove the, the grit and contaminant off the vehicle. So I'm not, I'm not bearing down here, just using a light amount of pressure. And now that I'm at the bottom, I'm folding my towel in half again, just to get more clean surfaces. Quite dirty down there. So give it a quick rinse. Great thing about uh, rinseless wash and wax is it will do a pretty good job of cleaning the towel out as well. There's some ingredients in here that are gonna help flush the dirt out of the towel so that when you're done, you don't end up with a completely filthy towel. I'm gonna leave that one a little more soaked since that rocker is so dirty. Looks like Stevie's 
almost done here. So I gotta speed up. We'll finish that low portion. If you do come in contact with road tar or tree sap or you know things like that, typically there's not a whole lot of tree sap around this time of year, but you can still run into road tar. Um, our multi-surface citrus cleaner does a good job on road tar. You know, it, it will diminish wax, so if you just used rinseless and then you hit it with citrus to get you know, any of this tar and grease off, you would want to come back again with a, another 15 to 1 application. But that's quick and easy, so it's definitely worth it to get all that off. But now we'll finish this back half and quickly dry it. One of the big benefits, one thing I love about rinseless is that it is really forgiving and it's dry time. Normally on you know, a car this size, I'll do close to half the car before I start drying. It's just a little bit quicker that way. Of course you can dry as you go as well, uh, but you don't totally need to. You shouldn't get any streaks. Even if this product starts drying on the paint, it should wipe with a dry towel so you don't have to add product back over it to, to get it off the surface without streaks. So now we'll dry that. Oops. Okay. There's the small section in the middle there. Fresh towel. Just wipe that middle piece. Quick buff. Flashes off nice and quickly, so there's not a lot of effort involved in drying. And now you have a freshly clean and protected surface. If you wanna take an extra step, what you can do after you've done the whole vehicle, if you didn't use the 15 to one on the top surfaces, come back with your dilution bottle, just do a real light mist you don't need a lot, you know, as simple as that. And then just come in and quickly buff that. It takes another couple minutes, but adds a lot of value in the sense that you're getting a durable layer of Carnuba and synthetic protection on the surface to help protect you against those elements that you see during the winter, road salt, de-icer, things like that. Really simple to use, very versatile. The 15 to one dilution can also be used as a clay lubricant for our synthetic clay and surface prep mitts. Works great for that. And you can also use it as a, a rinse or drying aid. So after you wash the car, really regardless of what method you use, um, even if you use water, you can spray it on the vehicle wet or as you dry and then dry it off or rinse it off. And it'll add that, that same coat of protection as well. So it's very hydrophobic. You'll definitely notice it next time it rains and it'll help keep the car cleaner longer and maintain any base coat wax you have. So that's our rinseless wash and wax and our spray on car wash. For more information on our rinseless and waterless washing products and processes, please visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.